you let me know? Should I stay or should I go? Once the rising star of David Trimble's Ulster Unionists in the post-agreement era, Sylvia Herman is now the last one sitting for the party at Westminster. But for how long? If I go, there will be trouble. And if I stay, it will be trouble. I have loved and enjoyed serving the people of North Down. They have stood by me through the most difficult of times. And if they choose and wish me to serve and continue to serve them, I would do my very best to do that. If I may say so, it doesn't sound like you'll be standing as a Conservative and Unionist. At the present time, I can't see myself standing uh, under a Conservative banner. It was an emotional declaration, and those who know her well say she's been weathering a storm that's not just political. I'd say it's been a very difficult year for Lady Herman. I think people should appreciate that she not only lost her father, uh, Sir Jack was very ill at that time, um, she then lost Sir Jack. I know that it was very difficult, it was very final for her, the memorial service for her. And now, of course, rumbling on in the background was the difficulties within the Unionist Party itself, and I know that she won't have taken this decision lightly. Sources close to Lady Herman say she was not consulted about the link with the Tories and that she learned of the impending alliance in a newspaper article last July. The formal announcement, coming shortly after her husband's death, was, say her friends, a major, and for her, an unforgivable blow. We should all be campaigning asking Michael McGinsey what he's going to do. Having put her head above the parapet with her rejection of the Tory unionist link, the next morning saw Lady Herman hoping for a lower profile. No chance of that now that the die's been cast. Let me introduce you to the full crew who are here today. We have some um, unexpected guests, but very welcome guests. I have no idea why they're here, why I should be the focus of attention. <laughs> She's insisted she won't make further comment until after the European elections, but there are some in the party who wish she'd remain silent. This man more than most. I used to love her. Conservative and Unionist candidate was in the heart of Lady Herman's territory, the Loyalist Kilcooley estate, for an election debate. He was asked if the local MP's remarks would damage his election campaign. It's certainly something that I could do without at this moment of time when you've uh, three weeks to go in a campaign. However, that's, uh, you know, I, I also believe in people's right to, to, to make a point. It didn't really answer the question. Well, if I didn't answer the question, you know, then I'm sorry if I didn't uh, give you full enough, but, you know, uh, I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of a campaign. If you expect me to give all the details, I said I'm disappointed. I, I'm glad she's going to support me, and there's not much more I can say about that. It's not easy to win hearts and minds in Kilcooley, but it's clear that Lady Herman has no shortage of supporters here. I think the way the Ulster Unionist Party has treated Lady Sylvia Herman as their only MP uh, is abhorrent, and I think she has suffered terribly at the hands of her own party, and therefore, uh, having taken this, I sent her a text this morning to tell her that she's in my prayers and in my thoughts, uh, and I'm sure that that's the case for many people within this community. This isn't the first time that Lady Herman has publicly objected to her party forging links with another. When the Unionists formed an alliance with the PUP at Stormont, she made her feelings clear. I was not a party to the decision taken by my fellow colleagues in the Assembly. It was a decision that caused me personally deep distress. Lady Herman's relationship with Sir Reg Empey has been strained to say the least. It got off to a bad start when he challenged her friend David Trimble for the leadership of the party. Of course, I'm very disappointed. Sir Red should have shown much more loyalty to the leader that we have. What do you think he's doing? An awful lot of damage to his own personal reputation. Here in Ballyhoe, tensions have been growing over the Conservative and Unionist Alliance. Lady Herman is a member of the local branch, and this is the chairman. If she does not accept uh, our current tie with the Conservative Party, uh, I think she's uh, debarring herself from becoming uh, a candidate. Now, she is the sitting MP and she was elected as an Ulster Unionist MP. Uh, I'm not sure of the legal nuance of that, but certainly it is party policy and all candidates going forward uh, to elections of the future will, uh, certainly for Westminster, uh, would be agreeing to take the uh, Tory whip, which she obviously won't do. If Lady Herman parts company from the Unionists, 
Is she popular enough to win the seat as an independent? From what I can gather, if you go to her with the problem, she's very, very good. So I'd be very impressed with her. I think she's a good representative. If she broke away and stood as an independent, she would have quite a lot of support. And our, she would gain, they would lose. I don't think they actually would return her. Uh, I think most people would have their eyes set on voting for a certain political party. Sidney Elliott has known Lady Herman since she was an academic. He believes she can win the seat as an independent if she's forced to break away. The effort to persuade her will probably go on, but it's very difficult to get away from that strong statement. I am not a Tory. Indeed, she's not. I mean, her voting record shows that Absolutely. she has sided with Labour. So is she really persuadable uh, for a, a Tory alliance like this? I, I honestly don't think she is persuadable on that issue. Uh, so in a sense, uh, we might be in for a, an extremely interesting contest in North Down in 2010, in June 2010. So where does this leave unionism in North Down? Well, if any constituency can weather political storms, surprises, shocks, breakaways, independence and mavericks, then it's this one. Lady Sylvia Herman has certainly created waves. Now she needs to decide if she wants to cast off alone.